How's it going everybody? I'm Chevelle Cody here and today we're going to be working on this license plate. Uh, it's really faded, or not even faded, there just isn't any paint left. It's really rusty. Uh, I've gotten pulled over for it a few times. Um, people don't like the fact that they can't read a license plate, so it makes sense. Um, so I went out and bought some paint here. I know it's not really the correct color, but it's the closest I could get and honestly at this point I just need to get it's looking somewhat correct. It's a 1970, so no one's gonna even know really the difference, uh, unless you're also someone who's from that time. But either way, so I got a blue paint marker here, paint pen, and I'm gonna try and uh, make it look like this one. This is another one I have. Um, I don't know, know what you guys are thinking, but why don't you just make this your new plate? Because I don't want to. Okay. Give it a try. Alright, so I just finished um, getting all the paint off, getting all the rust off for the best I could. It's a few areas, my Dremel's kind of falling apart a little bit, so um, couldn't really uh, finish it exactly the way I wanted it, but I think it's good enough to where I can start working on bodywork and um, then hopefully to paint. Okay, so I actually found um, a wire brush on a drill and I cleaned it up a little, even a little bit more, and I think it came out pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and Start epoxy primering it. I'm using this Spray Max 2K epoxy primer. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing I found on the internet that comes in a spray can. So, so there we go. So the epoxy primer is done, um, I let it dry overnight, and then now it's a new day, so today I'm going to, which I've already kind of started to, spray on some filler primer here, I sprayed some down earlier, and then I've already kind of sanded the areas that are kind of uh, low, this one right there that I'm worried about, one right there, and then one right there, and then um, I'm just going to keep uh, layering it on there until I can get this kind of somewhat flat. This is my first time really doing body work besides, you know, doing the trunk of that. Uh, so hopefully this comes out okay. I'm not really expecting it to be perfect because I'll probably have to go back and do this again because these colors that I got are not the right colors, but I got to get something on this license plate so it'll be okay for now. Okay, threw some filler primer on there and just try to smooth it out. Didn't really come out that great, to be honest with you, but that's okay. I'll come back through and do this again. Um, I put so much filler over on here just to try to fill in the holes that the four is like, looks like it's almost submerged, so definitely looks kind of weird, but oh well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, first coat of paint is done. I know on camera it kind of looks like a dark yellow. It kind of looks good, but in person it looks like a flower sundress type yellow it's very light it's not dark at all like that one unfortunately these don't match so oh well we'll keep going though okay so i finished painting it and then i went ahead and pulled out the blue sharpie pen paint marker and uh i filled in the letters from on camera and this distance it looks okay but 
further you get in, it's you can see a lot of the mistakes I made. Overall, I mean, it's better than what it was, but it's definitely not as good as like an original here. It's just for the differences. Yeah, so the blue is pretty close, but the uh, the yellow is not not even close at all. So, oh well.